all right my dear children now we will solve the last numerical problem okay from this chapter mass energy equivalence okay and this is also a problem based on finding the energy and we call it as binding energy okay under a nuclear reaction now with this numerical problem we will complete this chapter and we move to next chapter nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion now problem number three says that calculate the energy released in the nuclear reaction now nuclear reaction uh, means like a nuclear fusion reaction and nuclear fission reaction. Now these are the reactions that you are going to learn in details in the next chapter. But let me just tell you, under this type of nuclear reaction, there will always a loss in the mass, a mass defect. Means whenever the reactant, the uh, the the number of what uh, nucleus or number of element they react each other, that forms a reactant with that new element which form. Okay, that is called product. And when the product is formed from the reactant, the energy is always released. And this energy which is released actually in the form of what? Loss in mass or called mass defect. That means in a nuclear reaction, there is always a mass defect occurs due to the formation of new, due to the product and due to and by the what? Reactant. Okay. Similarly, this is one of the numerical problem that I am solving based on a nuclear fusion reaction. Now fusion means to combine. A lighter element to combine to form heavy nucleus okay so the question is calculate the energy release in the nuclear reaction and the reaction is h12 h12 combined to form se24 now h12 means <clears throat> okay let me do the solution of this question h12 combined with another h12 that means this is deuterium this is deuterium and one of the isotopes of hydrogen when they combine with another deuterium means if they fuse together to form a heavy nucleus and this heavy nucleus is se24 the helium nucleus what is forming the helium nucleus but along with the helium nucleus some energy will be liberated and this energy is actually a nuclear binding energy but as i said why the energy is released because of the loss in the mass that is called what defect a mass defect okay so under this reaction how to calculate the mass defect <clears throat> the mass defect is always given as the product, the mass of the reactant minus the mass of the product, because in this reaction, the product mass of the product, the mass of the what product is always, always what less than, less than, than the what mass, the masses of the what. Masses of the what? Reactant. So that means there is a loss in what mass? There is a loss in mass. And this loss in mass is only called what? Mass defect. This is actually called what defect? Mass defect. So children, mass defect is nothing but the loss in mass. But on the nuclear reaction, we calculate the mass defect as the masses of the reactant minus the masses of the product okay now first let me calculate the masses of the react mass of the reactants mass of the reactants so mass of the reactant means mass of this deuterium plus one of mass of another deuterium and see mass of one deuterium atom is given how much 2.014 or 102u plus because only deuterium is there, so plus the same mass that is 2.014102u. So if I add the mass of this two, two, two deuterium uh, atom, okay, hydrogen atom, then we get the mass, okay, and that mass, if you add, you get approximately 4.028204u. So this is the mass of the reactant, this mass of this reactant, these are called reactant. The left hand side part is called reactant, and this is called what? Product. This is called product. So I got the mass of the reactant. Similarly, you have the mass of product. The mass of what? Product. And mass of the product is nothing but how much? Uh, your value, that is the mass of helium nucleus. And what is the helium nucleus mass? 4.002604U. Now with this, I calculate the what defect? Mass defect. Okay. And your mass defect formula, as I said, under this re nuclear reaction is nothing but mass defect delta m is nothing but mass of reactant mass of the what reactant 
minus the mass of the what product? Mass of the reactant minus mass of the product measure the mass defect. Okay. So mass of the reactant means how much? 4.028204U minus mass of the product means 4.002604U. Okay. So if these two masses, if you subtract with the help of calculator, subtract, okay, you get the value approximately 0.0256U. So you can see the mass defect is this much. This is the mass defect under this nuclear reaction. But due to this mass defect, okay, the energy will be equivalent amount of energy will be liberated, and that energy we are going to calculate as nuclear binding energy. So for that I write directly delta M, delta E, sorry, uh, sorry not delta E, sorry, B E. B means what thing? What the binding energy? Actually, the energy which release is called the binding energy on this. Okay, binding energy. Or we can simply call as energy E bolt in the nuclear reaction. And this is equals to delta M into what? C square. So delta M is 0 0.0256 okay, U into C square. But children, when we calculate <coughs> this binding energy or energy release, also we calculate in what? Make electron bolt. So for that, I simply multiply this quantity, mass defect, 0 0.0256 by the value of what mega electron bolt corresponding one mass uh, one atomic mass unit that is 931.5 mega electron bolt we just need to multiply by this so if you do the multiplication of these two quantity you get approximately 23.85 i write in two decimal places 23.85 mega electron bolt now just see what is the energy that is released when two deuterium atom, hydrogen atom, uh, they combine to form helium nucleus. Okay, uh, this is one of the fusion reactions, and that is 23.85 mega electron volt. So, energy release can be also measured in case of fusion reaction and fission reaction also. Okay, so with this numerical a chapter, energy mass equivalence is completed. Now we'll be starting new chapter now, that is nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion, which is the last chapter under unit number. Eight.